Oh my god, it's early in the morning. It is cold, bro. Okay, there you go. The booper here, bro. We have the booper. Ooh. We're about to get a cold start, bro. It is early in the morning. I need to warm it up, though. Get it all nice and warmed up. Because I need to use the restroom. And then we'll be out. As you guys can see, we is in the Bupra right now. And actually, I thought I was gonna go solo, but no, I'm actually on the way to pick up beefs. And he's actually gonna be the first one to sit in the street 100 seats for a long drive and see how comfortable it is or if he, his back hurts or whatever it is. He's gonna be the first one to sit in the seat while we have a little long drive. But yeah, bro, I'm looking at like a two hour drive right now. I'm running a little late, bro. Like, that's why I'm on my way to pick him up and then we gotta dip like ASAP, bro. Cause I'm like, behind schedule right now big time so i didn't get the hell on the freeway quick but bro it feels so good just to be behind the wheel of the supra again bro oh my god first and first first and foremost all thanks to god you feel me bro ah bro it just you know i'm so excited just to have it back now bro getting to drive it little things are you know need to be touched up and all that but other than that bro it's back bro it is good it's back it feels healthy i need to get an oil change pretty damn soon because it's, it's telling me I need one now and then yeah bro. still haven't showed you guys with the wheels and all that we might do that today actually when I come back from the SD trip me and my dad are gonna actually try to lift up the suspension system ourselves like doesn't look too hard to do so we're gonna do that ourselves and hopefully it all works out bro because I feel like we could throw on the rear tires the rear wheels and it'd be flush fitment bro like flush I don't think I have to move the suspension at all but for the front, I feel like I have to raise it a bit just so it can fit way better. Hello, excited. You guys are going to see this. Um, I don't think I even started the vlog. My bad. <laughs> but what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Appreciate y'all for coming back to another video. I don't know if I started it or did the intro yet, but if not, this is thrown in there. <laughs> and damn, bro, it's so bright. I can't even get the light on. I was supposed to bring my Go 3 so I could get POV shots and the Insta360, but, bro, they were dead. I thought I had them charged, and no, they were dead. And I was like, wow there goes that so we're gonna do redo a video on that doing the insta360 and the go3 so you guys can see the shots from the pov of the insta360 on the rear and then pov shots of inside when i'm driving which i think you guys would love to see and then i'm pretty sure you guys want to hear the exhaust from the outside too so it'd be really dope just to get some some bits like that Ah, uh, but we got the boy beefs the jackass you know, in the seat. How the seat feeling, big dog? Hey, this shit's comfortable, bro. It's like a tech fit. You gonna need that shit with that power. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> well, yeah, bro. Now we got an almost two hour drive to get up out here, but we gotta go. We gotta go. Bro, so earlier we were stuck in traffic and we thought there was a car accident, but there was no damn car accident, bro. There was just some crackhead in the street and the freeway, bro, just walking, bro, jumping from barrier to barrier, which was causing hella traffic. Anyways, bro. Me and Beans were talking. It is droney as hell in here. If you guys can hear, like, I am barely stepping on it, and you can hear, like, and you, me and Beans have to scream at each other when we're talking in here, bro. <laughs> We've been just screaming, like, oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah, I heard you. But, bro, it is droney, so beware, bro. It is a little droney. It sounds amazing, though. But just droney as hell. It's loud. It's loud. Every time you're driving anywhere, comfort, whatever, it's loud. So we're kind of here, we're just, uh, we stopped at 7-Eleven to get some food or some snacks. Yeah, bro, I wonder how the food is doing. This is my breakfast right here. A vitamin water and like three little taquitos in here. He's got a pizza. Hey, that boy. Oh, yeah, there it is. that? Oh, you charged it together? Oh, that's fine, that's fine, you're good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, chicken. <laughs> 
about that. Damn, look at the soul, bro. There you go. Now she's looking good. We got that pizza. Got my taquitos. And we on our way. We're literally like four minutes away. So let's get up out of here. It's probably waiting for us. Your third Willy. Finally here with the boy Antonio and he's getting straight to work. You know, that's his boy in there helping him out, but yeah, bro. Homie did me dirty. He said I didn't pay him next week, so he cut up my headliner. I don't know why he do that to me. But yeah, he started cutting it up. He disrespected me. He saw this and was like, yeah, that's it. Dunzo. Chillin'. Chillin' my boy. Hell yeah. Much done that pizza actually. Oh my god. Kill desert. Free pizza, actually. Yeah, guys. <laughs> so I just got my car from the body shop, and they literally just took it back apart. You should just told him. Yeah, for real. You should just told him that. So yeah. once again, the car's uh torn apart. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Oh, uh, to the front. I think I got. I probably have more levers on this side. Damn. And bro, you guys already know with Antonio, bro. These dudes are quick as hell. They already got the car gutted and they're already removing the headliner. They're already removing the door panels and all that for the ambient lighting as well. They're moving fast. They always do this. Hell yeah. Alright, do it here. Whee! I don't want my headliner no more. Fuck out of here, bro. He's like, I'm gonna leave your car like this. There goes my headliner. Step on this bitch. Yeah, anybody want this one? Uh, come pick it up. You know where it's at. Doing the light. Bro, they move quick, bro. They move quick. Hey, no, 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 Oh, my chapstick. I needed this. I needed that. <laughs> just like that, they're already installing it. You feel me? We just had some lunch, too, but... Yeah. Damn. Look at that wire go, boy. They're starting to cut up everything up in there. We're doing good. She's looking nice. <laughs> He's not guys. Hey, bro, um, you said you took it to the body shop, right? I did. I did. Look, why is there a dildo in here? <laughs> Yo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> LED, LED dildos. <laughs> There's a whole design up there. <laughs> That's the shooting stars of flying dildo. You see that? <laughs> Done that? Oh, hell no. They got pretty much the headliner done, bro. And this shit looks so good. The suede, bro. So far. Oh, hell yeah. Pretty fucking sick, dude. Yeah. Now they're just working on the interior lighting. He's teaching the boy over there how to do it, but yeah, we're gonna do it right here. He kind of already has this one set. You guys can kind of see. And then we do the doors. And then, yeah. Well, almost done, bro. Shit's coming good, coming along. And I figured out, he was teaching me how to take off that screw for the passenger, for the driver's seat, because I couldn't take it off. That's why I didn't swap it in yet. But now that like, he told me and showed me how to take it out, when I get home, we'll swap the driver's seat in and put this one in. Ah, we still here. My boy Beavs is getting tired. He's about to take a nap and shit. Me. Oh, God. Nah, but they uh, pretty much are finishing up right now. They're doing the dash interior lighting, and then they already did the doors. So, yeah, they got pretty much over done here. The module and all that. So, finishing up this, they're doing the inside. And then, once they do this, pretty much all done. And then he's just going... Show me how it works and all the good, good stuff, and then we can get on home. I know Beavis is tired, bro. Look at him. He's tired as hell, bro. Hey, Brad, he bought me some food. Oh, bro. He about to go eat dinner with his girl. What do you mean? <laughs> so, I don't know if I told y'all this in the vlog yet. I don't know if I did or not, but I'm going to just throw this in there just in case if I didn't. But I was looking at my tire sizes just to really make sure what they were. And, bro, I guess I was tripping. 
my rears right now are 285s the fronts i have right now are 265s so i was like what the it's not that much of a difference so i could literally throw on the wheels today on the rear and it'd be fine i think the fitment would be fine i could probably even go lower if i wanted to and then the front i just probably would need to raise it just a little bit just a little bit and it'd fit but i was over here tripping the whole time Man, I'm about to throw the wheels out today, but when I get old, fuck the bullshit. I want to see how it looks. You guys won't see it until I get the lip and the side skirts installed and everything like that, but you guys will see it after that. <laughs> but I get to see it. <laughs> guys, bro, the car is glistening in this spot right here, bro. Oh my god, damn. Carbon fiber just glistening in there, too. Dude, look at that. Oh my. God. With the RK leaking. I am burning my diffuser though, so I need to be careful. <laughs> but bro, we're about to show you guys the interior, all that, the ambient lighting, the star lights right now. We just want to get it inside so you guys can see a little better. But bro, it looks insane, bro. Literally living up to the name. How's it look, bro? She looks sick, bro. And it's good, brother. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday, right? Tuesday, Tuesday. Take away this guy's for talking privileges, brother. <laughs> this shit oh, looks God. sick as fuck, bro. It's glistening in the street and repeating. Mm. And then today we're gonna install the seat. And then today we're gonna do the wheels. Oh my God, bro. You guys won't see the wheels part, but everything else you guys will see. I'm moving into the garage right now to get some content for his for his uh, Instagram and then show you guys how it looks too as well inside the garage why it's dark and all that. But bro, and then you guys seen the LED lights here too. We got the reflectors. That shit is fire as well. Filming. I can change the colors on that too. Let me show you guys. Look at my new reflector lights. Look. We get into party mode and then we could change it. Pretty sick. I'm gonna change it to solid colors, you know, blue, red. I like the red because it complements that, but it's pretty far. You feel me? Look at this jackass recording me. Why are you recording me for jackass? Why are you recording me? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was just realizing this, like, the duck build, that carbon fiber glare, and then you go here, and then that glare. Oh my god. Bro, that carbon is glistening, fam. Glistening. And yeah, guys, she still doesn't even have the side skirts, the lip, or the wheels yet to complete the look. Then we still need the steering wheel. Then we still need the seat. And then we still need the charge pipe. Into oh my god, bro. And then we're almost done. It looks good in here. I was just telling them, it matches with the floor that he has, bro. And it looks clean. As you guys can see, that little peak. Ooh, it looks clean, bro. But they're just going over the starlights a little bit. Just making sure it's all cut. But it's a like hell of fire, bro. He's about to do his thing right now. Get the content in. But damn. Hey, yo! <laughs> Fam, the lights in here look insane, bro. Even to the starlights, bro. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. I want to show you guys how the startup animation, all that happens, but, bro. Huge shout out to Open Light Optics, bro. Hooking up with the damn starlights and the ambient lighting, bro. Looks absolutely amazing, but it's time to go home now, bro. We've been here almost all day, technically, bro. We got a long ass drive. My boy Beeps is tired. Not anymore, actually. I might go get me twisted, baby. Yo, bro, you're you a little up now. We up now. We up now, boy. Let's see if we can get the. Not scrape here. Me. It's okay. It's okay. The front lip is fine. We're gonna put a front lip on anyway, so it's okay. This is a, this is stock one. <laughs> We are on our way now, bro. The heavy lighting looks insane, bro. Fuck, this is sick. Gives me BMW vibes now, for real, for real. <laughs> With the starlights and the suede. Ah, it looks so sick. Your boy needed some damn gas, bro. Yeah, there was no gas station near on the way over there, and I need E85. So, yep, we gotta get this first and then E85. What the hell you get, jackass? No. Adios. Now E85, bro. <laughs> 299, that's crazy, bro. I wish I was fully 85. I'd say hello, guys. Ooh, 
But bro, the interior lights look hella sick, bro. I'll show you guys later when I get home the way it starts up and all that and everything like that. Like all the features. It's pretty dope, bro. It's fucking sick. But yo, this is what it's looking like right now in the super, bro. This is insane. But I'm here to drop off the boy Beavs. Once again, I appreciate yes, my dog for coming through with me on the carpool lane. Really helped a lot, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we got like no Boom. traffic, bro. It was cruising literally all the way over here. How did it feel in the seat? And we had a long ass drive. Hey, look, this shit's comfortable, bro. Like, I'm a skinny dude, but I'm tall, but this shit's really comfortable. Hey, you know? yeah. I, I get to install mine, bro. I gotta wait I gotta wait till tomorrow now, bro. Because there's no more lighting and shit. We gotta wait for the wheels tomorrow, too. So, fuck. Yeah, bro, this is how the ambient lighting looks, bro. But I'll show you guys more when we get home so I can show you guys the modes and shit, bro. This shit is sick, bro. It's so bright, bro. Like the car sound out. Like really good, bro. Once again, bro, shout out to Open Light Optics, bro. If you guys need any work, hit him up, bro. Hit up the boy Anthony. He got you. He'll get you right with the whole kits and everything like that. Hey, Y'all, we is continuing the vlog. It is the next day, and we is about to take out my driver's seat so I can install the Street Hunter seat on the driver's side. And then, uh, yeah, then we can go from there. First, got to get the tools, and then, then I can take it off. All right, I got the tool. This one should be it. And uh, should take it right out right now. Shout out to Anthony for showing me how to take it out. Because at first I didn't know how. That's why you guys didn't see it in the last video. But now you guys will see it in this one. Just take out these two bolts and we should be straight. I told him to leave them loose. I mean to take them out. And then I'll just take these two out and we should be chilling. And just like that, we got it out. So now let's put this one in the garage. And I already took, yeah, I don't need the seatbelt. Oh yeah, I need to take the seatbelt thing off. And then yeah, we should be straight. All right, this was the piece that I needed. Finally got it removed and everything. Now we got to add it to the other seat. So, yeah, let's do that. It was a struggle for a little bit, but then I finally got how to take this off. Uh, I think later today, maybe in this video, but I don't know if I'm going to show you guys, we're going to install these wheels. We were supposed to install the lip and the side skirt today, but yeah, body shop ended up flaking again. So, well, right, we finally got this installed. I did my little Mickey Mouse, but she feel me, you know what I got to do, but... Got this and stuff. We're gonna put it in the car, see how it levels, see how I sit. And if not, we'll come back and adjust it, see what's up. And now we have the driver's seat installed. And bro, she fits good, bro. I fit good in here too. Woo! Honestly, it feels so cool, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I am like hella posture straight, but it feels dope. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I'm in an actual race car. <laughs> oh, shit. I think these sit a little higher than the other ones, too. Than my old ones. We're gonna install the new wheels right now in the bed. Just gotta move the car and hopefully everything fits and goes smoothly. So, guys, I'm driving it around right now with the new tires on and the wheels. We got the work bicers on. And as you guys can hear, these tires are so sticky. They're picking up everything off the floor right now, bro. It's like. Everything is getting picked up by these damn tires, bro. They are triple eight R's. It feels good, no rubbing whatsoever, and I didn't even have to adjust the height, which is really good, bro. I thought I was gonna have to adjust it, but thank God I didn't. And bro, right now it is driving perfectly with no rubs. I'm about to go through a bump right now, see how well it does, and um, we'll go from there. But I don't. So far, I'm just doing really good, actually. And I think I could still lower it in the rear too, just a little bit more, bro, because it has a little bit of a wheel gap that I don't like too much, but I'm going through these bumps like nothing with no scraping, which is perfectly fine, so, which means I could go a little lower. <laughs> I could go a little lower. It looks amazing, bro. I wish I could show you guys, but like I said, I wanted to show you guys with the lip and all that on, and I don't want to show you guys with the wheels right now, because then I'd be just giving it almost all away at this point, so I don't want to do that just yet. TPM lights are all so good and perfect. All of these all chilling, so yeah, I just seen the TPM lights go off. Same thing with the tire lights, so everything's fine, because obviously the TPMs are on this one, so it's fine. And the seat's comfortable, bro, honestly, I like it. It's not bad. Alright guys, so I wanted to show you guys the functions and the modes and all that that the doors and all that have, the ambient lighting, so I'm going to show you guys a couple of them. So like, colorful, it can look like this. This would be on the app obviously, then you hit dazzle, it do this, oh, dazzle would be this, which is pretty damn dope. Hit illusion, it does this, 
rhythm. Gives you this dope little animation, and then we do light. And it just kind of does that. I usually like doing the RGB scene because you could just leave it at one color. And then obviously I could change it all on here, change more colors if I want, be yellow, green, pink, you feel me? Set the vibe, but I like the blue personally. And then this too has hella functions as well, bro. Huge shout out to Opalite Optics, bro. Absolutely killing it. Yeah, bro. They absolutely killed it with this. If y'all need any ambient light work or star lights, hit them up, bro. Opalite Optics, they will get you right. But yeah, bro. Hella functions on the app that you can do and everything like that, which is super damn dope. Makes the whole ride and the experience hella fun and dope. And for the passenger as well. So I'm here with the boy Big G. He got his M340i here. We're at the homie Chris's house. I just came by and showed him the car and everything. But I'm gonna end the video here, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video of the starlights and installs and all that, make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new and stay up to date for the content on the Supra. The next video, I'm gonna show you guys the wheels and everything, and it'll basically be the reveal video of what the Supra looks right now at what I'm looking at right now. It looks absolutely insane, so stay tuned, bro. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys see the reveal of the insane 2.0 mobile. <laughs> this has been your boy, Eddie, and I'm out.